where hip hop is at now. I've been making content around like, I think hip hop is in the process of dying or dead. And I've had a lot of people in my comments saying like, they don't believe that's the, tr the case. And I wanted to get your perspective on it because I feel like whenever, the people that I feel like are most relevant in what is considered hip hop in America today, I feel like you so much keep me in tune. Like uh, Yeet, Baby Tron, yeah, yeah. Young Nudie. Yeah. Um, I feel like even Jack Harlow in a sense, like Jack Harlow is what hip, hip hop is now mainstream, which mainstream and i have another take on this i want to get into later but hip-hop is now mainstream which includes a larger like demographic of white people so a lot of the music is going to be more palatable to that like hip-hop and pop are almost adjacent so you're going to get a lot more so jack harlow is hip-hop today you know what i mean and you have to consider it that so i wanted to ask you like where do you think where do you think it's at where do you think it's going like who's Who's really still like, yo, we should watch out for him? Like, I don't I don't really know. I want to hear it from you. Um, I feel like I was talking to one of my friends about this the other day, actually. And I, I think, like, it's really niche down now. Like, it's kind of like whatever you like is what you like. And I feel like it's kind of like there's going to be a lot of different people for each lane. Like, I feel like that kind of, like, fast car, money rap that's kind of going on right now. Like, the Yeats, the Luckies, the... I don't know, Big Baby Gucci, that's a person I listen to. Like, he, though, though, that type of rap, you can find that. You can find the underground hip hop type of rap. I feel like there's a lot more, like, variety, but I feel like, in a way, it's also saturated because of that. Like, I feel like there's so much rap and there's so much dropping, and there's, like, it's just a lot, and it's a lot of more, like, quantity instead of quality. Like, I feel like I was talking to one of my friends, and we were talking about how, like, it's, I feel like nothing really sticks out anymore when it comes out as far as rap. Like, it's kind of like, okay, I expect to hear this from this artist. I expect to hear this from this artist. Like, I don't feel like it's really gonna, there's not a lot of things that kind of like pop out at you that really stick out to you. And I feel like when you said it's like dying, but it's not there yet, I, I think that's kind of true because I feel like now you're starting to see like those bigger legacy artists like you would see in rock like you would see in acdc or you would see a nirvana you would see those legacy artists start to be like i guess like the bigger things in the genre i feel like the the older artists or even like the i don't even know how to explain it i do I, but i do kind of I, I know what you're saying like a legacy thing now like it's kind of like it is dying but i don't think it's dead yet if you find yeah it, I, don't, I, don't think it's dead at least. I know yeah the the I guess what sparked this for me partially it's just me being like I've been going to so many like international artist shows the last I say year year and a half so that's what's one thing starting to change my mind especially being in like being in Chicago and going to a sold out coffee concert it's like oh like we might think it hip hop is like coffee is from Jamaica and she's reggae and it's like she's still doing great numbers Burner Boy is still selling out thousands of people and that was one thing and then another one was like. Every after every generation of rap, you knew who was next up. And for a while people was like, yo, Roddy's next up. That's not true. Roddy's not next up in terms of like that that lane. And I guess the only person I would say like, yo, after the Kendrick, Drake, Cole, like big three, like who would be next? Like I think Tyler. I think Tyler is the one. Tyler's the only one. And Tyler's around that age. Uzi. Jack Harlow, even Jack Harlow, like, and that's not, and it's like, and even in that, trap, if you look at the, say, um, I mean, I interrupt you, but like, even in that track, no, go ahead. like, Young Boy is probably one of the bigger ones, like, yeah, but still, then it's, I feel like you're right about that, though. There's not like a next up, like, a ooh, the starters are really looking out for this is who everybody's talking about, like, I, I, I feel like it's kind of like. Yeah, there's no consensus. There's no consensus. It was like when those three came out, it was a consensus. It was like Dr. Dre is backing Kendrick, Jay Z is backing J. Cole, and Lil Wayne and Baby are backing Drake. It's like we all know that the, everybody knows this is it. And so, like, now it's like Tyler. And the thing with Tyler that's so different is like he's been around making music for over a decade. So it's like, it's like he's the one. But it's not the same where it's like we usher in the young guy and he's the guy. It's, it's completely different now. And I just feel like now you're getting these mega superstars globally that are what we used to look at them as. Like I saw a stat the other day that said Central C like 
over 90% of his streams are outside of the UK. And that's that's different than like you you would expect a, a UK artist like would have a primarily UK fan base, but the fact that a lot of his artists aren't over there, it's like I mean his fans aren't over there. That's pretty telling to where I feel like we're at now.